What is going on guys? My name is Jay Phantom. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are doing part four of how to get LR Freezer. The fourth stage of LR Freezer has finally come to global. It's been so long. I've been begging for this for the entire time. I just wanted stage four to be released for so long already. Now we can get them 100%. If you don't know, stage four provides metal drops for the LR phase, of course, as well as dropping dupes at a higher rate compared to stage one. If you're interested in watching the previous parts, I'll link the playlist to all the parts that I've done for LR Freezer in the description. So make sure you check it out. It's got stage one, two, and three. So if you're interested in that and what teams I use for that, definitely go check it out. But in stage four, LR Freezer is now AGL. So the best team you want to run is a full tech team. And the requirements of building the team is that all characters have to be farmable. So nothing from like gifts, summons or even barber store everything that can be dropped from events uh is usable only thing is that android 13 the tech one is the fully awakened one is not usable for some reason but uh i'll let you guys decide why that is now this is the team i'm going to be using in today's video this is not the best team of course i'm trying to run the lowest of low teams in this video so that you know you guys have like a better understanding of how easy this event is now, the recommended team that I'd usually go for and what to farm is something like this. The main units you want is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel, the tech one. I use them both as leader because you want that stat boost. Uh, you can run LR Goku as the leader for your friend. That definitely is a good option as well. And then you have LR Goku on your own team. So he's going to be a really hard hitting unit. Jackie Chan's just a seal. Um, you don't really need to, but it's good to be safe. Then you have Bulma here to you know reduce damage. That will come in handy. Uh, and she heals. This event is not hard at all, so you know, just run whatever good tech units you have. Then you have Yurin. I just brought her along because she can stun, but you know, she's droppable and she's relevant because the stage is out already. Uh, then Xeno Trunks from the Super Strike event. It's really random, this team. So Yurin and Trunks can be replaceable with anything you like. Um, and then my team that I'm running, I have Kaba here. He does extra damage, and I also have Piccolo supporting unit. You could also run them on the team. If you want to go extra crazy, you know, you can mix up, you know, types and stuff. You can always, you can always run LR Goku as the leader, and then that means you can run pretty much any type you want to use. So you can run her. Of course, you want most of your units being tech. Like to run the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta because, you know, he can counter, so extra damage. Um, and then, you know, whatever really suits you. And except as long as it's not strength, you should be fine. But like I said before, this is the team I'm going to be using today. Just using really low end units. So let's get started. So obviously you want to go to the right or if you're facing where Goku is facing, the left. Very confusing. Um, that's where majority of the key is provided. I haven't run this event that many times. To fully know that this side is the key side, but obviously there's more key here right now. It could change. I have no idea. And a side note, this is actually a new room that I am in. This is a new house. So it's obviously we're still moving and I have no idea how I'm going to upload this. <laughs> we have no internet at the moment. So probably there won't be a stream. By the time this is uploaded, the next day I usually stream. I don't think there's going to be a stream tomorrow, which is unfortunate. But hopefully by the next week we can start streaming again. So it is kind of delayed. Now, I like to have Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the rotation, main rotation. Obviously, he's your hardest hitter. He should one-shot this Frieza, for sure. Even without his passive. Yep, critical 385,000. Second phase. The third phase has three bars. That's the only problem. But that's, again, not even hard. So we do that. Piccolo can go there, and then Urin could stun. Who knows? But we should be able to take out stage 2 Freezer. His passive is activated, so even promising, 896,000. And then the final stage. Hopefully we can get a card drop. I still need to get 4 dupes for him. <laughs> I only just started. The event just came out like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Kaba cannot super attack, but we can just use a Tree of Might. And then Balma can get a full 12 key super attack. Alright, let's see how much damage. 26,000 freeze is going to be hitting you uh, against a tech unit, of course. His passive not activated. That's the only problem with Goku. He does get an additional super attack. I will take that. Kaba, let's see what he got. 
Oh, almost taking him out. Additional attacks all around. These guys have like level 6 additional. And Bomber should finish him off. And there we go. So, nice quick video for you guys. Showing you how to beat Stage 4 Freezer. Obviously, this event came really late. So, like, all the tech cards, all the new free-to-play cards that are coming out are just demolishing all the older events. So, it's definitely going to be easy for you guys to complete this event and get the four dupes. And 100% him, of course. Hopefully, you guys do that. I will definitely be 100%ing him. And because there's no stream tomorrow, I will be uploading the 100% showcase for Freezer instead of the live stream. So, hopefully, you guys stay tuned for that. But that's going to wrap up the video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay busy. Peace out.